Hey guys, this is Poverty's a Bitch, and this is going to be a two-part uh, recording. Uh, this is going to be on uh, command lines, so I kind of started covering it uh, in the last one. But up to... let me start off with saying that uh, I'm planning to post these videos every Monday. Well, not every Monday, every other Monday. So that should give time to watch the video start... Uh, giving it code and uh, hopefully it's not going to be too fast for you to follow along so that you can actually be creating your own game and, and have time because I know everyone's got a busy schedule so it's going to come out Monday you'll have all week to watch it and then as you get time Friday Saturday and Sunday you can program or you could program throughout the week so I know we all have busy schedules so a lot of times with uh, game programming yeah, you can see my little note card off the side. Love my short-term memory. Um, with game programming, everyone wants to just jump right in. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. I'm just jumping in. So this is going to be uh, like half the game programming is designing. Um, if you don't design it, you need to find someone else who does. So let's uh so i'm just jumping in so i want to get the you know well the hello world the game engine and then finally being able to take a uh, uh, text input so how let's see um so by now um by the time i post this video i know it's only the uh 16th so it's like two days after my other one I'm just eager to get the recordings done. So, <clears throat> by now you should have a name for your game, you should have a little a text intro, and you should have played with the game engine a bit to get it the way you want it. Uh, and there's a lot to it, you know, uh, getting character name, that, that's simple enough, it's CN, um, and you can store the variables, and you can get playing with it, and you can just dive right in. So this one's going to be rather complex, and that's why it's a two-part thing. So I've got my little notepad and I'm going to sketch out the ideas. Uh, so uh, and then like the next episode will actually not not part two but um, uh, the the next one after part two is actually going to dive into documentation, design, concepts, just you know digging in because you know a lot of times we like we got to make a game, let's program. Well, great, yeah. So I'm um, kind of feeding that monster so that you've got something to play with. Um, and then you really got to stop and look at the documentation. So, okay. Um, so the game engine's done. Um, and the way I look at it is... Uh, let me just make sure that the little string on this camera doesn't fall in front of the, the lens. Um, sorry for the unstableness. But uh, there we go. So, the way I look at it is uh, people are like, chicken or the egg? Uh, which one came first? Well, obviously the chicken did, because life, single cell uh, life forms didn't have to lay eggs. They, they divide, or they produce little, um, uh, anyways, uh, not to, <laughs> you're not here for biology. And some people hate, uh, some people really hate analogies, but I, just something I absolutely love, even though I hate it when other people do it. So, we made a single-celled organism, and now we're going to put a little bit of function into it. So, let's dig in. So, we have, so like an egg, egg-ish, like a, like a life form. So, you got the application, and then you've got the uh, game engine itself. So we'll be focusing on this because the way I want the command line text to be is you got single stroke yeah might as well have a stroke with my spelling okay -E. duh stroke not the best speller so you got single stroke so this is where you're holding down like I've got a little keyboard over here. So how I want it is the WASD is going to be up, down, left, and right. Um, 
And then over here, you've got the little arrow keys, and those arrow keys are also going to be used the same as WSAD. So the keys to get from here are easy. These are rather complex, and it just gets a lot more uh, rigorous, as well as the escape key. For escape, for me, escape key is to cancel anything. So if you're in a problem, hit escape, and it cancels out. So let's move on. I apologize. I, I say so a lot, just as as opposed to uh. Hopefully this is not too annoying. We're going to have the kingle, uh, kingle stroke, uh, single stroke. Talking like I've got one. <laughs> uh, and I don't know why my sinuses are always draining, so I'm always. <clears throat> so I apologize about that. Uh, there's other things, you know. You could have uh, different things like the letter M for the map and I for inventory and you know Q for quit or you know you got all these options. But those are single strokes. So once you've got the single stroke keys down, the next thing after that is you hit the enter key. And I was talking about this yesterday. Um, enter key starts yeah my, my my writing is horrible um, enter key starts the command line and line so which means there's the enter key and there's also another one so yeah to me having this numeric pad I mean I could add a third a uh, set of directions, and it'd be the number pad itself, the up, the down, the left, and right. And I might just do that, because I find more ways you do the exact same thing, the better. Uh, we'll get in, I'll get into, uh, well, actually, <laughs> you can probably figure it out on your own to uh, reset keys so people can uh, set it up the way they want. But then again, that would be in here under menu, menu menu not men y and then it'd be menu settings <clears throat> um, I don't know input inputs keyboard so all right So that is the plan. So what we're going to do, or what I'm going to do, is in the game engine, we have the two do's. Do, which is, uh, I don't remember, I'll have to remo review my code. And then there's the outer one, you do stuff, do stuff, not to be dos tough. Um, and then we do another do loop and this is where in it what I'd like to do and this one's a do while and so is the other one I didn't even leave room but here basically what we want to do uh, later on for 2d would be um, check the time because uh, there'll be, it's, it's uh, th you want things, like in a 2D uh, game, you want flames to be moving and fire to be moving and you want, you know, animals to be moving around and you want uh, wind to be blowing. So that's, you know, 2D. And in uh, text, we're going to be starting with text space. So in text space, uh, this is where monsters come and go in a room or they decide to start to attack you, but you need a timing thing just to pace it. <clears throat> so that, you know, your system, if it can crank out 5,000 uh, cycles per second, that you don't burn up your CPU doing that. You want to slow it down to, everyone seems to like 60, I like 30, maybe I'm, ah, maybe I'm just a little slow. <clears throat> so you check the time, and then uh, that time, each one, you have to check the time for each function. So it's like, is has enough time passed? Draw the screen. 
and we can actually get to the point where we're refreshing the screen. Uh, such things as you know menus uh, appearing and scrolling up, so it's more action-based te 2D text, and we'll get into the the graphics of that later. But uh, you could be like drawing the screen again. Check time. Um, let's see. Uh, draw screen. It's my brain completely blanks out. Okay, so once you check the time, you see if it's possible, and then you do um, uh, monster movement slash attack. So if you've got a monster in there, see if it decides to attack or not. Um, and then finally, uh, once it does this stuff, um, or oh, and another one, ah, and that's. I'd recommend, uh, instead of having a, a bound book, what I'd highly recommend is actually a scroll, um, scroll bound, um, doesn't need to sound right, a, a book where you can tear the paper out. So if you just completely mess up and it's stupid, instead of having a, a piece of paper that's just scribbled to hell and back, you can just tear it out. Uh, scribbled to hell, heaven and back, depending on what you prefer. So let's move on down, um, and this one, what we, um, yeah, could do this loop over and over and over again, and then as soon as you have a single keystroke, it breaks out, uh, while K, B, hit, uh, so the first thing you do is you capture it, get, uh, the, well, <laughs> Uh, that would be C, of course, is that command, get char, but this one would be C in, C in, and since we get the name spacing, we don't have to do the standard, standard C in. Um, sorry for any motion dizziness and that kind of stuff. <clears throat> so once we get that, we want to have a routine here. I'll probably keep it outside of this and I'll get another file um, that will take care of it. So from here it passes that information over so you get the character um, and then what is it? Command line? Command line. Uh, I'll come up with a better name but for now I'll just be send it off to the command line and whatever that uh, CN character let's call it keystroke stroke and on the naming convention we want a CH on front of it and it passes on so the command line we're, it's going to be a big old file so what we want to do is um, Yeah, the first thing we want is for it to come in and to be tests. You know, first we'll test um, test the char, um, what it, whatever it is. So if it's enter, uh, it will open up. It'll, it'll change the text mode. Uh, to command line an actual command line command line um, key command key command alright let's call it key command so it sends it off to key command in that it tests the character if it's enter it goes to the command line and it will get fancy I'll describe this in a moment and then the next one um, is single stroke uh, so this starts the actual, you know, once we filter out, make sure it's not the enter key or any other miscellaneous stuff. Um, another one that we could do is the escape. Um, and the escape could just, uh, well, actually, escape can be key command. Command. Oh, 
I can spell, really I can. So we'll have the key command, and that will test to see everything. Is it movement, movement, is it, uh, is it, let's say movement, is it escape, is it quit, um, uh, I think that's it. So, um, that's it for now. Anyways, you get the idea. Um, but if it is enter, goes down to the command line, And we're going to have some global variables. Uh, one of them is going to be predefined. Actually, it's going to be up before <coughs> before the game. Um, you know, the game opens. It does its defining. It does its defining. Calls in um, your headers says okay when you know like uh, how big your map is uh, how many characters max is your your character's name uh, how to define everything so you got your defining the game starts so in there I'm gonna define a global variable not really a variable it's going to be a global string um, str all lowercase command and when, capitalize, capitalize, when you write the variables and strings and everything else, you want to be as com as not too complex, but not shallow enough. You want it to be understandable um, without any confusion. So we're going to have a string command, and what happens is the character is added to let's see you hit enter it, it sets string uh, we'll have a global bit up here we'll have a global one to determine what what mode we're in so command line mode so let's call it command line mode and let's um, just set it to command line mode yeah, why not? okay by now so if it's enter it's command line mode so let's go back to this um, command line so so it sends a character goes to the test and what we'd need to do is actually before this we would need to decide whether it's going to uh, key command or to command line so key command or command line so we'll determine that and then from there it goes to key command or key command line so whatever the mode is and then it sends it on down so in key command um, if it's key command enter will switch in this one, enter will switch well as well. So we hit enter to open up the command line. We type, 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 space, type, 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 space, type, 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 enter. And then when it's done, um, it will switch back to key command. But that first enter will process the phrase. So we'll have, let's say, we could have two words, um, get, fight, pick up, um, look all sorts of different commands and then we could be the noun what is it you know fight monster um we'll also have in here a single keystroke maybe f for fight or maybe um i don't know let's see uh e would be good r would be good um f would be good um or maybe maybe space so hey i want to tab would be good so it's all up to you to t determine what you want for the key but anyways so that would be fight or you could uh, um, just go ahead and try things like uh, drop drop trash or whatever so anyways you get the idea and then from there the enter and then from there so this what it does the it'll be coming in a single character at a time comes into the 
command string. Uh, no, 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 command line. And it will continue to add the next character to the string command. There we go. Let's just say 16 for now. Uh, we'll have 16 characters. Uh, we'll do a test to make sure it's like, hey, is this 16? If it's the 16th one, it just... Um, this is where I just make a decision. It'll just keep putting it on the 16th position. So as you type, it just changes that last one. And when you hit enter, if it makes sense... So in the command line, we'll have the two different things. So we literally have... Um, your first step, which will be comparing the first word, and I will have to look up the code. I, I forgot it, but I've got it in my code somewhere, so I'll dig it out. So what you say is like it, you know, compare. So is it equal to this word? You know, let's say look. <clears throat> if it is, um, it's going to have a sub command inside. Like, if it's a single word, look, and you hit enter, um, well, actually, you'd have to have something that parses out the words to determine how many words you've got. Um, so you've got 16, and I think we'll have upwards of three, three max, maybe more. <clears throat> like, if you're talking from one character to another, the first one says tell, the second one is the person's name, and the third one is a massive long string. So we'll redefine it later, but for now, it's just something simple like help, or quit, or um, look. Um, simple things. Or get. So we'll have some simple words to start with. We will get more complex, obviously, as the design builds. It's just going to get massive. But this is going to be a starting point. <clears throat> So it comes in if it's if it, if the first word compare the first word if it's look uh, you know we we just have a little command like um, I don't know draw screen screen um, or maybe we'll have like um, room room description yeah four humps on the M yay descript and I prefer to use full words I hate abbreviations because there's tons overlapping um, and full words you can't mess that up you shouldn't be able to mess that up if it's not if it doesn't explain enough you just add more to it so from here just room description and then from here it breaks back out. So it goes back to the game engine. So that's text command. Uh, so let's start f back from it. So you'll have your little your little loop within and it's doing this. It's you know checking a draw scene, monster movement, attacks, whatever else is happening in your environment. When you touch the keyboard, it'll capture it. It'll send it off to a uh, key command. It'll determine if it's a single, are we in single stroke mode or are we in command line mode? And then based on that, it's going to um, process your input. If it's command line mode, we want to break it down by the different, uh, uh, the words uh, based on space. So there's going to be a parsing uh, thing within and then uh, it's going to process that. And of course, there's always going to have to be a default. Like, it'll respond to fuck. The fuck. Yeah, my spelling is horrible. Um, it'll be like, the fuck, what the hell? Um, this will be cleaned up and says, I do not understand this phrase, and I'll spit out the words. Um, so that is, I believe that's everything. Let me look over my notes. So yeah, we are, we started the single life form and now we're just going to, uh, add a new cell. 
and this will go back and then we'll have another thing so up here we'll have another cell which is a defining thing so this is you don't have to do anything it just opens up does this thing start the app uh, then once you're in the app you've got this little thing and it uh, sends commands off to the command command line or line uh, what do I call it? the other one uh, key control or command line and that processes stuff and sends it back so now you'll have the keyboard input later on we'll get the, get to the mouse uh, I've never been successful with the mouse I've always felt there's been so much to do with just the keyboard and graphics that I've uh, haven't gotten complex with the mouse just yet. So that's kind of the other reason why it's every two weeks. It gives me time to just dive in and be like, hey, let's figure this one out. <clears throat> so let me look over my notes, see what else I've... Yeah, I, I've got... I got notes, and I got... Yeah, that one's the old one uh, with tons of ideas. So let me, let me look it over real quick. Um, text. Every game has text. we got to start somewhere. So this is a good start. Um, oh, uh, definitely need this for when you have... Um, one of the plans is I'm going to have a moderator side. So this is obviously going to be online. It's going to be a sword and shield game. And it, back in the day, text games used to be muds and mucks. And, you know, it's all text. It's just somewhere to start. So there's a lot to it to even get this running, get people onto it, and to play it. But the moderators will definitely have to... Ah, God damn the hiccups. Every time I start talking too much. Uh, you'll have the moderator to be able to create rooms, or the, the world designer to create rooms, create items, and it's all going to be text-based. So you'll need this on the back end, as well as though there's going to be an admin uh where they can come in and they can change variables on the fly. For example, they can announce a story idea that um, the Great Wizard has come into town and everyone is now talking about magic and you, all magic you do will get two times experience until he leaves and he's going to be here all weekend. Dun, dun, dun. So, uh, yeah, uh, there's going to be all sorts of commands, all sorts of codes, there's tons of modes um, just to deal with text alone. So text has, you know, you could do so much with it before you even get to the mouse. So that's the plan. Um, so let's see. By now, you should be able to have had uh, input to say, hey, what's your character name? We'll get to saving. That's uh, Saving the game is uh, later on, but first we have to get some structural things going. Um, you know, uh, single-celled life forms don't have brains. It can't remember stuff. They just react. They do things. There's no storage. When it's de when it dies, it's dead. There's no nothing left behind. So again, life form analogy, because um, we're we're creating something. This is actual creation here. So you should have your character's name. Yeah, we'll do savings later. Uh, yeah, down here there'll be comparing strings. We'll be both comparing characters and we'll be comparing strings. Um, yeah, there's definitely uh, help. And um, one last thing is the size of the screen is actually uh, 80 by 24. This is the classic uh, text. So it's like 80 characters wide by 24 high. So this is the screen. So we'll get into screen later on. Uh, we can get fancy where we set up a uh, array called screen, which is 80 by 24. And what will that do is we can load this up to be anything, any way we want it. So if we want like words to drift up up lines or down lines, we can program that in. Uh, if you want like a menu just to appear like it's popping out of the ground and you start up with, uh, I'll get into uh, characters later, but uh, you can, there's menu windows in text. Yes, it's it's that complex because 
I'm sure you'll recognize it, but we can have it like slowly open and then have text inside. We could have uh, scrolling. We can have all sorts of stuff. Uh, but that, let's see, uh, that will be here where we draw the scene. It'll draw the screen itself. Um, and this will definitely help out when we start getting into uh, two, uh, two screens for war, 2D and 3D animation where you've got one page um, that you're looking at the next page eh, it'll be drawing and drawing and doing this fancy stuff and when it's ready it brings it to the front and the old screen is now erased and the reason for this is if the computer has to draw what it's doing it slows it down severely so if you can have it in the background doing whatever it needs to and then bing, it looks like animation and this is how animation is done so we can have text games have animation <clears throat> so there's a lot to it but this is part one out of part two so um thank you for watching and i'm going to switch to the computer and start taking care of this again this is poverty's a bitch uh this is a mature channel so if you can't handle uh full adult words go somewhere else i will not tolerate pe uh adult children um, and the, the difference to me, age doesn't determine maturity. It's how well you handle life. So if you're not mature, you're still a child. I know people that are like 45 and childish. Um, you know, they're like, I don't want to do my job, but I want my paycheck. It's like, yeah, well, grow up. It's like, I'm 45. Well, then act like it. Develop heart cancer and die already. Anyways, um, yeah, I always say harsh things, but anyways... Um, this is going to be a mature channel. If you can't handle it, too bad. Um, find somewhere else to go. I won't tolerate people complaining that I dropped the F-bomb or, or, or my name has the word bitch in it. Because, you know, hey, it's a statement. Poverty is a bitch. Um, and this is, you know, when I was making 13000 a year, this is what I did. I spent all my time doing this. I couldn't go out to movies. I couldn't go out to bars. I couldn't go out and buy the newest DVD, the CD, the VHS, whatever it was. I couldn't afford it. All I could do is sit here with a piece of paper, a pen, and, and a free downloadable, and just thought, worked, struggled, drew things out. And, uh, yeah, so enough of that. Let's move on to the computer and get on to coding.